Dried out chicken breast got you down? Don't sweat it. Here's a tip that'll have you ruling the culinary roost. Chicken breasts hold something of an unfair reputation in the world of cooking. It's often associated with flavorless meal preps and only celebrated for its lean fat, high protein nutritional value. But a little prep goes a long way to getting a ton of flavor out of chicken breasts. In addition to proper seasoning, there's one other trick to getting super flavorful chicken breasts. Just pierce the breast with a fork a few times or score it with a sharp knife. This works for a few reasons, but one of the most important is that it helps marinades penetrate deeper into the meat. Without scoring the breast, the mixture is likely to just sit on the surface, leaving you with a seasoned exterior but a flavorless middle. That's why this simple trick leads to more flavorful, moist chicken breasts. Additionally, if you are working with skin-on cuts, the holes help to prevent skin shrinkage. And if you've ever enjoyed crispy chicken skin, you know you want to get as much of it as possible. While the scored chicken breast method is great for marinated chicken, it's not always the right call. When you cook chicken in a skillet, for instance, you generally want to keep as many natural juices inside the breast as possible. Poking holes allows the liquid to cook out, leaving you with dried chicken. That said, while this may be true if you're doing a dry rub, in the case of a marinade, any lost liquid will be replaced by the solution. To get the most out of your scored and marinated chicken, you could also try roasting instead of baking it. One key difference in roasting is using a higher heat than baking. Basically, any Anything 400 degrees Fahrenheit and above will allow the exterior of the breast to brown up beautifully. If it starts to brown too fast and the internal temperature hasn't reached its food safety standard of 165 degrees Fahrenheit, cover it in foil to prevent burning. Be sure to allow the chicken to rest for a few minutes before cutting into it, as this period allows the natural juices and marinade to seep back into the meat. If you're all in on the idea of chicken perforation, you may want to commit to buying a needle and syringe meant specifically for this purpose. In fact, meat injectors are a valid way of applying flavoring agents below the surface of the meat. First, you'll prepare a tasty marinade, add whatever spices and seasonings you like, then let them sit and infuse for as long as it takes to impart their flavor to the liquid. And don't forget to strain out any solid matter to prevent the needle from clogging. If your meat injector comes with a selection of needles, a smaller size would be best suited for a chicken breast. Stick it onto the injector, dunk it in the marinade, then pull up the plunger to load. Now insert the needle horizontally into the breast to allow the liquid more room to spread. Pull the needle out, stick it into another spot, and repeat the process a few times until the chicken's all juiced up. After doing so, let the meat rest for a few hours in order for the internal marinade to do its thing. While poking holes into your chicken breast will go some way toward allowing the marinade to reach below the surface, marinades generally only affect the outer layer of the meat. To get the most bang for your buck, you can increase the surface area that comes into contact with the flavoring liquid. One way to do this when working with a boneless chicken breast is to take a meat mallet or heavy object and wail on that chicken like it's Moby Dick and you're an avenging Ahab. This will not only tenderize the heck out of it, but will flatten it out and make a larger area for the marinade to penetrate. Another, less bludgeony way is to butterfly the breast. Here, you'll be using a sharp knife to slice almost all the way through the middle, then opening it up into two flatter, thinner wings. Who knew chicken breasts could taste so good? 